comes in line with what our Baltimore police were urging ministers to come forward and come out and to help calm the situation, calm down some of these protests that were taking place all over. Okay, now, earlier today, hundreds gathered at New Shiloh Baptist Church for Freddie Gray's funeral. ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager joins us now with more on that service. Jeff, you were there. Very, very long, emotional at times service. Certainly, Kelly and Jamie. You know, in light of all the violence, it's a shame, but the, the funeral almost seems like an afterthought now. But there were calls for peace, calls for justice as religious leaders gathered, thanking Gray's family for Freddie and for what will happen in his memory. Amazing Grace. People filled New Shiloh Baptist Church to the rafters for Freddie Gray's funeral, and his family memorialized him with a poem. I'm going to miss your smiling face. I think of you and wonder why. I might cry or smile, but at the end of the day, I am one day closer to you. But with current and former political, religious, and civil rights leaders, along with a balcony full of cameras on hand, Congressman Elijah Cummings recognized this funeral would be as much about Gray's death as it was his life. As I thought about the cameras, I wondered, did anybody recognize Freddie when he was alive? Did you see him? Did you see him? Gray's death, attributed to a spinal injury in police custody, is a tremendous loss for his family and for an entire people. The Baltimore police became the pallbearers of an alive man and turned the paddock wagon into a tombstone. We're here because we feel threatened. All of our sons are at risk. And we're calling for the police, the six of them who are at least being partially if not totally implicated to come forward and tell it all just like you tell our citizens to do. Gray's family received condolences and sympathy but most of all they received assurances that his legacy will live on. I came to tell this grandmother, I came to tell the aunt, I came to tell Freddie Senior, I came to tell Freddie's five sisters, don't cry. And the reason why I want you not to cry is because Freddie's death is not in vain. Family, it is our watch. We are the adults. We are the ones who are passing through. And for me, I'm in the twilight years. But I am telling you, we will not rest. We will not rest until we address this and see that justice is done. Now, along with the criminal and potential civil cases surrounding Freddie Gray's death, the family's attorney, Billy Murphy, also told the crowd the road to justice includes police body cameras, recruiting more local police for the force, and naming a special prosecutor for cases just like this one. Jeff Hager, ABC 2 News. All right.